Hey, this is Paul from Dr. Phone Wondershare, and this is a really annoying message. It could mean that all of your cherished memories on your iPhone could be lost forever. Do not worry. As you're here watching this video, I will tell you exactly what you need to do to make sure that doesn't happen. iPhone or iTunes error 4013 is usually a hardware issue. It's mostly caused by a faulty USB cable, a damaged USB port, it could be third party software, or it could be some firewall software that is built into the computer itself. In other words, it's a communication issue between your iOS device and your computer. It prevents iTunes from accessing the Apple servers. So if you want to update your iOS software, it can't do it because it can't download that brand new iOS from those Apple servers. This is not a problem and we can solve that issue with a few easy steps. So here is how you can fix that iTunes or iPhone error 4013. Method one is to fix that error 4013 without losing any of your data. So first of all, go ahead, download Wondershare Dr. Phone, then connect your device to the computer via a cable and then Dr. Phone will then show you two options which you can pick from. But for data protection, try and go with the first option. Dr. Phone will then go ahead and identify your iOS device, your iOS version, and then download the latest firmware. All you have to do then is just click start, and this might take a bit of time, and that's all depending on your internet connection, but just be a little bit patient with it. After the download has completed, it will then automatically start scanning your device for any problems that it needs to fix. You'll then get a message that says repair of the operating system is complete. This means that your device has been fixed, and that should only take about 10 minutes or something, and while it's actually doing that operation, you can just sit there and do nothing. Method two with this iPhone or iTunes error 4013 is to fix some problems with your computer. When you get this error, sometimes the problem is actually the computer itself. So this is what you need to do if you get that 4013 error. Method one is really simple and that is just to check that your internet connection is working. So the best thing to do here is go to your Wi-Fi settings, turn off your Wi-Fi and then turn it back on again. Second is then to go and check all that third party firewall software that you might have on your computer. And sometimes just turning this off for a couple of minutes and then turning it back on when you're finished is something that can also help fix that error. You can also then check your computer software to make sure it is up to date and it is on the latest software. And then the final step is just to check whether it is your computer that is causing the problem. So take your iOS device and try it in another computer. If your computer is fine though, then it's probably worth just checking that USB connection to make sure that that isn't causing any issues. The final method is to fix this iPhone or iTunes error by using this iTunes repair tool. As we've already mentioned, this iPhone 4013 error is also known as an iTunes 4013 one three error. And that is because this error only occurs when you are trying to restore your iPhone. It might actually be that your iTunes is corrupt or the version that you have is obsolete. So the best thing to do here is just restore iTunes completely. The first thing to do is just go and check that your iTunes is actually up to date and on the latest software version. If it isn't, then this sometimes can fix it because that will throw up that error 4013 if your iTunes isn't up to date on the latest software. So if it isn't, just update it and that could actually fix all of the problems. If you just wanna fix this iTunes error really quickly, then you can follow these next steps. Install an open doctor phone and then you can click on that system repair tool option that is on the screen. In the new screen, click iTunes repair and then iTunes errors. Then the tool will verify and scan whether those iTunes components are complete. If it then still pops up after the verification, you then need to click on advanced repair. If iTunes 4013 cannot be fixed, you then need to connect your iOS device to your computer. Then select repair iTunes connection issues and then this should fix all of those problems. So now you know what the iPhone and iTunes error 4013 is and why it appears. You also now know all of the methods that you can use to try and fix that error if it appears again for you. So if you have any questions, then just comment them down below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video as well, and then we will see you on the next one.